First of all, I hope everyone is staying safe and well. These are certainly challenging times that we are living in right now. E-bikes kind of pale into the background when we're trying to all come together and collectively save as many lives as possible. Although priorities for me have changed somewhat, I still need to stay sane during this time of social distancing many of us are undertaking. So for me, keeping going with the bikes and the channel is an important escape. So this week's rather shorter update is looking at the progress I've made on the rear lighting cluster that I first showed a few weeks back. Things are slowly taking shape in terms of the look. I'm still not 100% sure that this will be the final shaping at the back, but it will work in order to move on to the electronics phase. In order to make it work on as many bikes as possible, I've made the rear mounting modular in design and also have a flexible pivot point. The idea being that it will also allow the mudguard part of the design to be adjusted to different angles of seat tube or seat post depending on the rider's choice of attachment. So far I've got these little rubber T12 ball holders which push through the back of the unit. They're just a compression fit with the rubber so easy to pull out if there was an issue with one of the bulbs. Uh, the bulbs I'm using are these 12 to 24 volt red and amber bulbs. I guess if they don't work that well, I can always try something else. I'm gonna be getting the initial circuit up and running to get some rear lights working on the bike. And then I'm gonna look at the brake lights after that. And then probably the, uh, the indicator lights after that. I have some of these brake cutoff sensors that I got with my CYC kit. And I'd like to use them, but I need to figure out how to use the signal from these to actually trip a brake light. I think they run off 5 volts, so presumably if I tried them with 24 volts, they'd probably fry instantly. But I must admit, wiring is not really my forte, so I'm going to expect that there's going to be quite a bit of learning to do here. Fortunately, my father-in-law knows a bit of a motorcycle nut that used to do helicopter maintenance, so I'm hoping that he can give me a few pointers. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it looks like on the bike at the moment. I was kind of a bit worried that it would end up sticking out a bit too wide at the sides. Not yet decided what material I'm going to use for the mudguard. Um, I doubt it will be something that I'm going to 3D print all of it or even any of it. Um, if people have suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. Also, if people have links or ideas for the wiring, for the brakes and flashes, I'd love to hear about those as well. Uh, don't forget, a comment gets you an entry in the competition, so a yeah, bit of an incentive there, right? Um, so yeah, cheers, and uh, I hope you all stay safe and well out there.